Alright guys, well we're in uh, Maya 2018 and you guys asked me to do a follow-up on the uh, K-Bar Combat Knife, okay? So in uh, this video I'm going to explain you guys how to uh, UV this guy, how to uh, do a color ID mask uh, in preparation for texturing the Substance Painter, and uh, how to create the high poly mesh uh, also for baking the Substance Painter. And the actual texturing will be done in a third video, right? So just to save some time, I did a couple of steps, but I'll walk you through them uh, in detail so you know what's going on. Well, first of all, if you go to the outliner, I went in and I named everything. So uh, I got the group named here, I got the guard, I got the handle, uh, the sheath, the strap, the nails, and so forth. Now, if you don't know how to do that, it's really simple. You drag click your entire object and then something will show up in your outliner. You double click on it, you change the name. That's basically it. Okay, so that's just to clean that up in case you have to pass your model on to somebody else and they want to figure out what's what, right? So that's that. Now, second, uh, you need to make sure that your model is clean. So uh, once again, uh, object mode, select it, edit, delete by type history to get rid of that, modify and freeze transformations to make sure that all the transforms are set to zero. Then third, uh, as you can see, the model has some color. Now, what I did is I identified up front what um, materials I'm going to be using when texturing the Substance Painter. So everything that I turned red will be leather in Substance Painter. Uh, everything blue will be metal and everything uh, black will be uh, dark or black wood and everything gray will be brown wood as per the um, original, okay? So let's see, that's that. So we talked about identification in the outliner, we talked about the clean mesh and so forth. And uh, of course we need to UV this guy. Now we're gonna drag select this guy, we're gonna go up to UV and automatic projection, and then we're gonna go into UV, UV editor, and we've got a big mess right there, okay? And that's fine. So uh, I'm okay with that for the simple reason that I like to start from there so I can uh, cut my way through and get uh, pieces that I like, right? So I'm gonna right click on a UV shell. I'm gonna drag click all of this and I'm just gonna go uh, right click to uh, cut and sew and then move and sew. So this is now all sorts of stuff, okay? Looks like there's some lines already in there but we'll address all that. So let me just... Uh, Make sure that this is one big blob, exactly the way I like it. Not well, pretty close. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start with one piece at a time. So I'm going to go in object mode and I'm going to go and select this guy and hit H to hide it. And then we're going to select our nails and the guard. And we're going to hit H to hide that too. And we'll hit H to hide that and H to hide that. So we just got the handle, okay? Now, as you can see, big mess right here. So what I wanna do is kind of define where I wanna cut this. Now I know that this is the back of my handle right here. And so I'm gonna right click, go to edge. And I want that seam to be in the back. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna double click right there. I'm gonna right click and go to cut and sew and click on cut. So right now, if I go back into UV shell and I right click and go to modify and unfold, you should see this. Now you can see it's still connected somewhere, uh, mainly down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the, uh, what's called the pommel and we're gonna right click at the edge, double click to go all the way around, right click, cut and sew and cut to cut that open. And then I want to have this back section right here and I probably will need to, yeah, select that manually, but that's fine. Just this work our way around here. All right, and I'm gonna right click and go to cut and sew and cut once again. So it's cut there and then we have a little tiny edge all the way down here. So let's select that one and let's go to cut as well. Now that should, for the main part, uh, UV my handle, let's see. So I'm gonna zoom out 
I'm going to right click go to UV shell, drag click everything and then right click again and go to modify and unfold. And then we'll do that again and I'm going to go to modify and uh, where do you go? Layout. So what I got right now is I got this little circle in the middle right here. I got the main handle piece and I got this section. And this section needs uh, a cut as well. So let's go in here and I'm going to right click go to edge and I'm going to select this, this, this and this and we're going to right click and go to cut and sew and cut. So now once again, we can go into UV shell, drag select, right click, modify, unfold, and there you have it. And then drag select, right click, modify, and layout. All right, so that's our handle. Let's go back. We're gonna go to uh, display and show and all, okay? Now, don't worry about the position right here. We'll worry about that later. So we have that. Now let's see what else. Uh, we got this strap right here. So let's go into object mode, select it, and we're gonna go to UV and automatic projection, which will give us all of that stuff. We're gonna right click at UV shell, drag click all of it, right click, go to uh, cut and sew and move and sew to turn it into a big blob. And then we're gonna go in into edge and we are gonna start to select those outer edges it's kind of annoying that everything is red right now. Let's see. I just want to get a good selection here. So looks like we're good. So I'm going to right click, go to uh, cut. And then we're going to go to shell, we're going to drag select, right click, modify, unfold, and there you go, not too bad. Okay, I'm going to go in here, hit five again to get my color back. So I'm okay with that, it's going to be one material, so it's okay. So then we have the guard here. Let's select that guy in object mode. Let's go into UV and automatic projection. And this is not too bad. This seems to be, let's see, that seems to be the top. We got the side, we got the side, and we got the bottom in pieces because we cut out some, um, some faces. So I'm going to right click and go to edge, and here I want to stitch those. I'm just trying to see what's where. Okay, so these are the sides of this guy. And we can go in and uh, move and sew that if we like. So that's connected there. And then let's see, that's connected there. And then Alright, and then we're going to right click at a UV shell, we're going to drag select, so we're going to right click go to modify and unfold. So we've got a straight section, looks like this needs to go down here, but we'll see. Oh, there it is, yeah. So let's uh, take this guy and go to move and sew and repeat that so now that we have all of this let's right click everything right click go to modify and unfold and the position will worry about that later so we got our guard we've got our handle uh, then we got the entire sheath here let's go in here we're going to go to uv and automatic projection that is actually pretty good. We've got a nice side view. We've got this guy. This we need to adjust somewhat. So let's just uh, move this up here. And I'm going to right click and go to edge and see what's connecting where. So right click, move and sew, G to repeat, G to repeat. We don't want to do that. We want to move that up there. 
we got let's see what do we got here we got this going there this going there let's clean that up a little bit we're going to go to uv shell drag select right click modify and unfold and we got some uh, cutting to do as you can see so i'm going to select um, sewing sorry i'm going to select this right click go to cut and sew and then move and sew actually not on that guy right click edge and where did he go move and sew okay so So that, so that. And that's starting to look better. So that. And that too, that too. And let's go in here. Let's try to select these guys. Unfold. Starting to look better. Yep. And we'll do the edge thing again, and then we'll go to move and sew again. So we got this. And we're just stitching that stuff together. Right, one more time, drag select. Looks better, and I think we're good. Okay, so then what's left? We have our nails. Now, I group them in the outliner, so I can just select them right here. And this is what you got right now. And what we want is to see all of them. So I'm gonna right click the UV shell, drag select right click go to modify and let's do layout so there they all are and then we're going to go to uv shell drag select and i think they're all good but we'll see unfold nice and round all right okay cool so basically that is everything now let's go in here we're going to right click go to object mode i'm going to direct like all of it which is this whole thing. And I'm gonna right click the UV shell, drag click all of these and right click and go to modify and uh, unfold once again, which shouldn't be a big change. And then go in to modify and then we're gonna to go to layout. Now that gives a proper layout of everything we have. One thing though, um, we have certain parts that are quite small on our model and quite large in our UV editor. And we don't really want that, okay? So we're gonna kind of go in here and I'm gonna hit W and I'm gonna move this over and we're gonna kind of scale things to proportion, okay? So we got this guy, we'll hit W, we'll move this. Right guys, well, I just uh, skipped a step where I scaled and moved things around and this is uh, the end result. So this is a pretty clean layout here. And uh, basically that means that this is ready to go from a low poly model standpoint. Now I mentioned that I was gonna do the high poly in this video as well, but I think this is a, a nice video to uh, call it quits here. And in the next part, we're gonna do the high poly in the actual texturing, all right? So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.